Hello, and welcome back to Movie Recap. Today we'll be doing a recap of 1992 mystery and thriller movie Basic Instinct. So stick with us and watch this video to the end as we go through the whole movie in a matter of minutes. We're going to have to give the obvious spoiler warning for the rest of this video. Let's begin. The movie begins with a mysterious blonde woman stabbing Johnny Boss, a retired rock star, to death with an ice pick during sex. Homicide investigator Nick Curran and his colleague Gus Moran are investigating the murder of Johnny Boss in San Francisco. Boss had ties to the mayor and a mayor's aide hovers over them during their investigation. Johnny Boss's bisexual ex-girlfriend Catherine Trammell, a prominent and rich mystery author who was last seen with Johnny the night he died, is the sole lead suspect the investigators have on the murder. Nick and Gus go to Catherine's Pacific Heights mansion in order to question her but they instead discover Catherine's lesbian girlfriend, Roxy. You're wasting my time, she says, referring to Catherine who is in her Stinson beach home. Catherine did not murder him. Nick and Gus pay a visit to Catherine's beach house to conduct an informal investigation. They find her on a deck chair by the ocean. The two policemen introduce themselves and Catherine says to Nick, I know who you are. When they inquire about her connection with Johnny, she says that she was simply using him for sex and that she wasn't dating him. She shows very little remorse, saying that she most misses their sexual encounters. Nick and Gus are taken aback by her seductive and erratic conduct. Nick meets with police psychologist Dr. Beth Garner for treatment after the investigation. Internal Affairs has ordered him to see Beth after he shot two tourists while high on drugs while on an undercover mission. Beth inquires about his drug and alcohol use and he claims to have been drug and alcohol free for three months. In addition, Nick and Beth have an on-again, off-again relationship. Catherine has written a novel that is based on the murder of Johnny Boss, who was tied to the bed with a white scarf and stabbed many times with an ice pick. Nick, Gus, and other investigators uncover Catherine's manuscript. It concludes that Catherine is either the killer or the victim of a frame-up. Catherine agrees to go to the police headquarters for questioning after another altercation with Nick and Gus. Can I change into something more appropriate? She inquires. She wears a tiny mini skirt when she returns. During the investigation, Catherine is obstructive, mocking, demanding, and provocatively exposing her genitalia. Nick and the interrogators are both stunned and uncomfortably aroused. Catherine has a valid alibi and is able to pass a lie detector test. Catherine then taunts Nick about his lie detector exam on the drive home, referring to the tour shootings. She claims that they are both innocent. Catherine expresses her desire to Nick towards the end of the journey. Nick, who had been clean for three months, returns to the police bar later that night. Nick informs Gus and Lieutenant Walker that he still suspects Catherine and expresses his doubts regarding Catherine's parents' deaths. Nick's extraordinary attentiveness to Catherine is made fun of by Gus and Lieutenant Walker. Nielsen, an internal affairs officer, arrives and taunts Nick by dubbing him Shooter, a reference to the Taurus gunfight. A fight breaks out between Nick and Nielsen. Psychologist Beth enters and puts an end to the argument. After that, she and Nick leave together. At Beth's apartment, they have hot sex, during which Nick acts forcefully and rapes her. Beth later admits that she and Catherine did take the same college classes. Nick requests for a cigarette, despite the fact that he hasn't smoked in a long time, and Beth gives him the smokes and kicks him out. Nick learns that when Catherine was a teenager, her parents were murdered in an explosion on their yacht. Catherine has a history of befriending killers, according to Nick including Hazel Dobkins, who murdered her husband and children for no apparent reason. Nick pays a visit to Catherine, who gives him a drink and breaks the ice with an ice pick, same as the murder weapon. He learns that Catherine is basing the protagonist of her next work on him, and that his character will be murdered after falling in love with the wrong lady. Catherine tells him certain private details about Nick that only Beth, the psychologist, should be aware of. When Nick confronts Beth about Catherine's knowledge of his personal life, Beth tentatively admits that internal affairs investigator Nielsen was attempting to have Nick fired. As a result, she felt forced to hand over Nick's confidential file to Nielsen and other internal affairs investigators so that they could assess him personally. Nick suspects Catherine of bribing Nielsen of internal affairs for information from Nick's mental file, and he attacks Nielsen in his office, accusing him of providing Catherine his psychological profile. Nielsen is later discovered dead in his automobile having been shot in the head with a .38 handgun. Nick's motivation is suspected by the other police. Officers look into Nick in the same way they looked at Catherine. During the interrogation, 
Nick is resistant, smoking and disrespectful, as Catherine earlier. Nick believes Catherine murdered Nelson, and his conduct worsens, he is sent on leave. Like a cat and mouse game, Nick and Catherine begin an inhibited sexual affair. Nick goes to the club and sees Catherine get into a drug fight with Roxy and another man. Nick and Catherine are having a good time and making out on the dance floor. Nick and Catherine have rough sex at Catherine's mansion afterwards, while Roxy stands by and observes without Nick's knowledge. Catherine, like Johnny, binds Nick's hands to the headboard with a white silk scarf, but she does not murder him. The next morning, Nick tells Catherine that he's in love with her. Rocky tries to kill Nick by driving him over with Catherine's car later that night, but she kills herself. Catherine is heartbroken about Roxy's death. She tells Nick about a past lesbian encounter in college, in which a girl grew fascinated with her, leading Nick to assume Catherine did not murder Johnny. Nick continues his inquiry while on leave and finds Roxy murdered with her two younger brothers when she was 16. Nick recognizes the girl from Catherine's college as Beth, who recalls the incident but insists it was Catherine who grew obsessed. Nick learns that one of Beth and Catherine's college professors was murdered with an ice pick in an unsolved homicide and that the events parallel one of Catherine's early writings. Nick finishes Catherine's book by reading the last pages, in which the imaginary investigator discovers his companion dead in an elevator. Catherine then ends their relationship, making Nick angry and suspicious. Later, Nick meets Gus, who has scheduled a meeting with Catherine's college roommate in an office building in the hopes of uncovering the truth about Catherine and Beth's relationship. Gus has been stabbed to death in the elevator with an ice pick, while Nick waits in the vehicle. Nick rushes into the building, recalling the last pages of Catherine's book, to find Gus dead as portrayed in the scene. When Beth arrives at the crime site, she claims that she received a message from Gus and that she needs to see him. Nick suspects Beth of murdering Gus and shoots her, mistakenly assuming she is reaching for a pistol. However, Beth was simply fingering a pendant on her keychain. She tells Nick she loves him and she dies. Evidence found in Beth's apartment implicate her as the murderer of Johnny, Nielsen, Gus, and her husband, including picture albums, a .38 revolver, copies of Catherine's books, an ice pick, and newspaper cuttings of Catherine that imply Beth's obsession with her. Nick later goes to his apartment puzzled and meets Catherine. She explains why she is hesitant to commit to Nick by stating that they have sensual sex, but she is afraid to commit to him, as people she cares about keep dying. Nick and Catherine sat on the bed casually a few moments later. Catherine reaches under the bed to retrieve something, but she quickly changes her mind and makes romantic steamy love to Nick once again. Slowly, the camera pans down to see the underside of the bed, where an ice pick lies on the floor, confirming Catherine as the mysterious blonde killer all along. Well, this brings us to the end of this recap. Hope you enjoyed it. What do you think about this mystery movie? Share your thoughts in the comments section down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for and subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon now to stay updated. See you in the next one soon. Until then, stay safe.